Hello, hello. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to the Brain Joe Virtual Classroom and to the tab <clears throat> walkthrough for the song Snowdrop. Um, I <clears throat> said, I think, in the description that this is probably the most popular Clawhammer banjo song there is right now, um, at least for maybe the past uh, decade or so. <clears throat> and um, it's certainly been the most popular one that I posted, and, and uh, it's also uh, tends to be, uh, if you want to play some, someone who's not heard Clawhammer banjo before, one song to kind of convert them. Um, this, this, is, this might be your best candidate. Um, it's one that almost anybody likes. So <clears throat> just as we're getting started, uh, before I launch into tab, just to get, uh, get folks a few minutes to get here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just play, I'm going to try this, I'm going <clears> to <throat> see if I can play my original video of Snowdrop that I posted several years ago, and, uh, and uh, see if that'll, that'll work. So here's that is, let's see. Let me find it. All right, there it is. So there's a demonstration of uh, of the song Snowdrop, a few different kind of uh, ways that I played it, but that's the tab that we're going to be going through is for a version uh, like the one that you just heard. All right. So for those who don't know, I'm uh, Josh Turknet, um, the founder of Brain Joe, and this is one of many tabs that are uh, part of the um, vault inside of the um, 
Breakthrough Banjo course. And so what I'm going to be doing in this video is taking you through uh, the tab for this song, Measure by Measure. Um, you'll see a little blue box at the top of the screen. That's to indicate whatever uh, uh, measure I'm on at any given point in time. I'll try to keep that uh, on, this, on the right spot. Uh, also, uh, you can, if you don't have this tablature, uh, there's a link to it in the video description where you can download it. Um, there's also some other links worth checking out down there. Uh, there's including one about how I recommend learning songs from tablature. Uh, Tab can be a great tool, especially early on, for learning some uh, songs. And there are kind of ways to use it that are that are uh, conducive to um, uh, to uh, sort of the, the goals that I have for folks in the course, which is to ultimately learn to be able to play by ear. So there's a way to kind of use Tab to communicate concepts, learn tunes early on, and uh, not sort of get in the way of that. And so there's an article <clears throat> in the description about that as well, uh, and some other yeah, useful links, including a link to the original video that I just played. Um, and uh, if you like these tab walkthrough series, um, I, again, I post these. These are available. I do these a few times a week in the in the course. But if you like these, uh, put these out periodically on YouTube. Um, just hit the thumbs up button, and uh, we'll keep them up. All right. So let's get started with Snowdrop. Um, Hey, Bob. <laughs> Good to see you here. All right. So, and yes, uh, and by the way, so um, as you guys can see, there's a comment box. I will check it periodically uh, throughout the course of this uh, in, when I have uh, the opportunity. So if there's any questions or anything that's unclear, feel free to use the uh, chat box to ask. And uh, all right. So um, let's begin. The uh, tuning that we're in for this song is uh, what's known as open C. Uh, so uh, some of you may be familiar with it. Some of you may be familiar with double C, which is uh, similar, but just one string different. But open C, as you'll see, is, is a um, tuning where we're tuned to an open, to a, to a C major chord, essentially. So uh, we'll go through it here, and you can see it on the screen there, there at the top is also, uh, you can see what the tuning is, but the fourth string is a C. The third string is a G. The second string is, is another C, an octave above the fourth string. So those should be same pitches, or same pitches, but an oct octave different, difference. And then the, the uh, first string is an E. So if you're in double C, you, that would be tuned to a D. So you're going to take that up two more frets to an E. And it should be even with same note as the fourth fret of the second string. So that's an E. So you have the notes C, E, and G on these four strings, which makes it a C major chord. And then our fifth string is still tuned to a G. So it gives you this nice, major sounding, bright, and happy tuning. And uh, certainly uh, this song really showcases uh, that tuning well, kind of is, I think, part of the magic of it. All right. So as long as we're clear on tuning. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, if anybody, I would, I would, uh, somebody mentioned about the tab. Uh, if you, um, I would just follow along right now with the tab that's at the top of the screen, and then if you want to uh, consult it later, uh, then you can grab it from the uh, video description. Okay, so um, the uh, song begins, uh, if you just listen to it, on the um, eighth fret of this first string here, that note there. And really, all that you're essentially doing in the first part, so this is a three-part tune, I think, uh, yeah, three-part tune. And all that we're really doing, the melody there is just this. Like that. That couldn't be simpler. So, um, and, and a very straightforward way of playing that would just be... So just like that, just adding in some um, bum ditties in between those uh, spaces in the melody. Um, but uh, in my version, uh, I do a few things to kind of add a little bit of extra interest and, and uh, change up maybe the rhythms just a little bit. So 
This first measure, again, starts with just a, that eighth fret of the first string, followed by a brush thumb keeping our finger in place. Then moving my uh, ring finger uh, to the tenth fret, play that. And then this next note to help uh, to help kind of let that uh, note stand out is a skip stroke. So rather than going, I go skip and then play the fifth string. So that whole first measure would sound like this. And you can just hear that just lets that last note stand out a little bit more. If you're not familiar at all with these skip strokes, um, I believe there's a link in the video description to my video that covers them and, and the ways in which they're used. So that's the first measure. Moving on to the next measure. Um, there, I would usually, oops, sorry. Um, you could uh, hammer, it's a hammer on from the 10th to the 12th fret. You could either keep your finger in place and do that with a pinky or just bring down your index to that 10th fret and do the hammer on there with your ring finger. So uh, again, we're going to hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret. And then again, that next uh, note we're going to skip. So we're going to go like we're going to hit it, but not, and then and then uh, put our thumb on the fifth string. So like this. And then keeping our finger on that 12th fret, play that same note twice again. Okay, so that whole measure. Now, just, just uh, to point this out, that last note there that I played, that last uh, note on the 12th fret, I'm essentially syncopating it by bringing it in early, playing it rather than playing it as the first note of the next measure, I'm playing it as the last note of the preceding measure. And you'll know that uh, the next, uh, the next uh, thing to do after that is a skip stroke, and that's why, because I've taken it from that spot and moved it earlier. Um, so that's a way of syncopating it, and then that following skip stroke kind of um, emphasizes that syncopation. So again, let's, uh, uh, that whole measure sounds like this. Okay, now we'll move on to the next one. And again, I've struck that 12th string. And now, to start this measure, I'm actually skipping and bringing my thumb into that 5th string. And then, after that, playing that 12th string again. Okay, and now release that ring finger. I'm back to the 10th fret. Um, and play that. And then another skip stroke, and then a thumb on the 5th. So incidentally, um, if you're playing, if you play it as I've tabbed out here, this is gonna, this is a nice uh, song to practice these skip strokes and to kind of get the. There are different ways in which they're employed here, um, so it's a good uh, exercise for that as well. All right, so that whole measure again starts with a skip. Okay, I'll play that with the preceding uh, note from the last measure. And now, the last one we see up top, we're going back, move index back to 8th fret, play that followed by a brush thumb. And then, play the open 4th, followed by that 1st string again at the 8th fret. And again, what we're doing there is syncopating that note that, uh, to, to, from the following measure to this measure. So that whole measure there. Okay, so I'm going to play everything you see at the top of the screen, just so we're clear. Okay, move on to the next set. I'll check real quick for questions. Yep, I believe this is a uh, rated as a level three tab. Um, it's probably right in between a three and four, closer to a three, I would say. Um, the skip strokes and the uh, occasional drop thumbs are what move it to the higher uh, level there, or move it to a three, and then <clears throat> kind of between a three and a four, I'd say. Okay, so. Uh, this next measure, the fifth measure now, remember we played that 
uh, node on the 8th fret, so we're, we're coming into here having played that, and now we're going to skip uh, the next stroke, play a thumb on the 5th, bring, bring, we're essentially going back to where we did before, remember this melody's just... So, we're playing, we're skipping that note, playing 1st string again at the 8th fret, then bringing ring to 10th fret, another skip stroke and a thumb on the 5th. So this first measure, um, with the last note of the last measure, sounds like this. Okay, now again, we're going to the 12th fret. You can bring your fingers up if you want, or you can stretch if you have the, if you have the ability to stretch. So we're back to 12th fret, play that, followed by a skip stroke and a thumb on the 5th. And then two, just like we did before, two times on that 12th fret again. And you'll notice, um, I think once you get into this hat, this uh, sort of the, the rhythm of this, um, you'll see that we're kind of doing the same thing over and over again, where we're syncopating that last note, bringing in an early, following it with a skip stroke. So once you kind of get that pattern under your fingers, I think you'll find this um, a fairly natural thing to do. So again, this whole measure, it sounds like this. Okay, so here we are again. We've, we've uh, moved that last melody note to the prior measure, so we're going to skip the first stroke, play a thumb on the fifth, play the twelfth fret again, move back to the tenth fret, play that followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure, oops, sorry, uh, with the preceding, with the last note of the last measure, so that we can hear that um, syncopation. And then we're going back to 8th fret again, play that, followed by a brush thumb. Okay, now the open 2nd string, uh, and then followed by the 1st string again at the 8th fret. And again, syncopated melody note, uh, playing it early. So that whole measure, whoops, sorry. Alright, so everything you see at the top, with the last note of the last measure, sounds like this. Okay, move on to the next one, and again, something slightly different here is, again, I've played that last note from the last measure, skipping that first note, but this time I'm going to bring my thumb to the open second for a drop thumb, and then play that first string again, fret it at the eighth fret, followed by a thumb on the fifth. So all of that with the preceding note sounds like this. Sorry. Again. Now we're moving <clears throat> to the next part where we're going down, uh, down the uh, or up the uh, neck, I guess, or down the neck. Sorry. <laughs> um, so the second half of this measure, we're going to move up to the seventh fret, play that note, and then the open second followed by a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure, including the preceding uh, note from the last measure. And now we're going to do one of our so one of our uh, chord shapes here. So in, uh, since we're in open C, uh, which is a which is a C major chord, uh, you can form other chords simply by barring your fingers over all of the strings. So this is one of those positions in this tune um, where we're essentially playing an F major chord. And uh, <clears throat> so borrowing barring over the fifth fret all the strings, you're going to play the fourth string followed by uh, a brush on the other three. And it really doesn't matter how many strings you hit there. Okay, so after that brush, we're gonna actually go bring our hand down again, but a skip stroke, thumb on the fifth, and then the last note is that first string while we're still barring it at the fifth fret. So here is that measure again. There you go. That's what it sounds like. Okay. <clears throat> so again, we're doing that same pattern where we're bringing the, that uh, last note in early. So we've got the, we've struck that first string at the fifth fret, 
We're gonna skip into the and then a thumb on the fifth. Play that uh, fifth fret again on the first string. Then <clears throat> we're going to bring our finger to the seventh fret of the first string. Play that note followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure with the preceding note sounds like this. Again, one more time. Now, <clears throat> place your finger, at, move your finger to the eighth fret of the first string, play the open fourth, followed by a brush across the, uh, this, the bottom three strings. And then, just as we did before, we're gonna play that brush, come down, skip the strings, play the thumb on the fifth, and then that first string again. Again, same pattern <clears throat> as before. So that whole measure. One more time. Okay, so everything at the top, um, including the preceding uh, note from the, from the last measure, sounds like this. Okay, and next we're essentially gonna do the same thing we did before. Let me check real quick for questions. <clears throat> All right, Curtis, I'll just uh, in a minute I'll just show you a simplified way of playing this. Okay. All right, but I want to make sure people understand the skip notes. Um, remember, if, uh, there's a Ranger Level 2 version of this uh, in the vault, um, so, and it doesn't include any of these skip notes or drop thumbs. All right, so here, this, uh, this first measure, again, just like we did before, we've played this preceding note on the first string. We're going to skip the next one, bring our thumb into the open second, and then play the first string again at the 8th fret. Then bring uh, back down to the seventh fret, play that followed by a brush thumb. So that measure again with the preceding note from the last measure. Again, this is what we did similar to before. And then we're going to play that bar chord again, same as before, play the fourth string and then a brush across the others. Sorry. We're gonna bring our hand down again, skip the stroke, play the fifth, play the thumb on the fifth, and then the first string. So that whole measure. Okay. And now we've got a. Uh, we're gonna play that first string, still barring it. Or actually, we'll um, yeah, still barring it. Uh, let me change this to reflect that. There we go. To avoid any confusion. All right, so uh, so we've got the first string, and then we're going to drop our thumb into the second string. Then play the first string again, followed by a thumb on the fifth. Then again, the bring finger to the seventh fret of the first string, followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. And then move your finger to the 8th fret of the 1st string, play the open 4th, followed by a brush. And again, there's, those are brushes without, the ensue, without any ensuing thumb uh, afterwards, so. And then the skip stroke to the thumb on the 5th. And now, at the end here, if we, were, if we were just, if this was our first pass through this A part, then we would, uh, play that last note would be the uh, eighth fret of the first string because we're going to go back into again so that's where that's the la that'd be the last note there but uh, since we've uh, covered those already so you just do the whole that whole thing again as indicated by the double dots in the tab and so now let's imagine we've come around we've played it twice we're saying first half of that measure is the same skip stroke, but the very last note's different. Instead of being the first uh, string eighth fret, it's the open first string. To 
start the B part. All right, and here comes our B part. So if you recall, the, essentially the melody of the B part is this. Okay, so that's what we're playing here. We're just gonna dress it up a little bit. Um, so we begin here, a brush, a brush across the strings, and then keeping our finger on that third fret. So we've brushed across the strings. Our first, our first fret is first string is fretted at the third fret, and then we're gonna play that string followed by a thumb on the fifth after that brush. So like this, and then we're gonna hammer on from the third fret to the fifth fret of the first string. Play a skip stroke followed by a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure. One more time. Okay. Now we're going to uh, pull off from the third fret of the first string to the open first. Then the open first followed by a thumb on the fifth. Then the open second followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. All right, and now <clears throat> last measure up top, we have an open, we have a hammer on from the open second to the second fret of the uh, second string. Then the open first followed by a thumb on the fifth. Then a pull off from the first fret of the uh, f first string to the open first. And then a pull off from the second fret of the second string to the open second. So all that together. Okay, so I'm going to play um, starting from the start of the B part there with that brush, everything you see at the top. So like this. All right, let me bring down to the next part, check for any questions. Okay. All right. Now we have the open first followed by a brush thumb. Let me uh, bring my footer hip here. Okay. And then we have um, the open fourth followed by a brush thumb. So easy enough. Now we have, uh, again, this is familiar territory. We did this already. Third fret of the first string followed by a brush thumb. Then that same hammer on, third fret to the fifth fret of the first string, followed by a brush thumb. Okay, that whole measure. Now, as before, pull off from the third fret to the open first. Then the open first followed by a thumb on the fifth. So again. Then the open second followed by a brush thumb. And this exact same series of hammer-ons and pull-offs that we did before. Sorry. So again. So everything you see up top sounds like this. All right, and now we're uh, gonna conclude this B part, the first pass through it, with just the open second followed by a brush thumb, and then the open third followed by a brush thumb. And again, if this was our first time through, we'd go back to the start and just play it again. Um, and then if it's our second time through, we're going to lead into this uh, C part, okay? So let's go ahead and start our C part. Now, we're going we're gonna, to uh, 
play this, uh, start this uh, C part, which starts on an F chord, so we're going to bar across that fifth fret again, okay? So we're going to keep our finger on that, um, on that uh, bar shape. We're going to play the fourth string, and we're going to skip the next note, play a thumb on the fifth, then we're going to play the third string, skip the next note, play a thumb on the fifth, so that same little pattern twice. Sorry. So you're just playing essentially these two notes and letting them stand out. And then next measure, still with our bar shape, play the first string, bring pinky down to the eighth fret of the uh, first string, followed by a thumb on the fifth. Release pinky, play the first string again, followed by a thumb on the fifth, so. And then the second string. And again, we're barring at the fifth, so those are uh, at the fifth fret. So that whole measure. Sorry. Again. And then last measure is the open fourth, <clears throat> followed by the skip stroke and then the thumb on the fifth. So mirroring exactly what we did before as we opened this C part, except now we've moved to a C major chord, which is just the open strings. So that open fourth, skip stroke, thumb on the fifth, and then open third, skip stroke, thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure, Again. So again, all the melody really is is. So our C part so far sounds like this. All right. <clears throat> and now we've got, uh, let's see, make sure I have for questions. Okay, you're welcome, Sally. Um, all right, so uh, now we've got open uh, first, followed by uh, third, third fret of the first string and a thumb on the fifth. And essentially, this whole C part's like these two little repeating units moving from one chord to the next. Um, so we've got, then back to the open first, followed by the open second and a thumb on the fifth. And now we're going to do this same pattern, moving it to the to barring at the seventh fret, which is a G major chord or the five chord in this in this uh, key and then in this tuning. So barring at the seventh, do exactly what we've done before twice now: uh, first at the fifth fret and second at the open strings, and now at the second seventh fret. So play uh, the fourth string, fretting at the seventh fret. Skip stroke, thumb on the fifth. Then third string, skip stroke, thumb on the fifth. Okay, let me move my cursor. This is where I am. So again, that measure. And now, same thing as before, uh, really, except we're, now we're doing it on this G major chord. So we're going to play the um, first, first string, fretting at the seventh fret with its bar shape. Then, then bring pinky down to the tenth fret, um, and then uh, thumb on the fifth. Release pinky, back to first string, followed by a thumb on the fifth, and then second string. So that whole measure. All right, and now back to, back to what we did before on the open strings, same pattern. Open fourth, skip stroke to a thumb on the fifth, open third, skip stroke to a thumb on the fifth. So everything at the top sounds like this. Okay, let's bring it down. Next measure, just like before, this uh, pattern uh, from the open first, then third fret, followed by a thumb on the fifth, back to open first, followed by open second, a thumb on the fifth. Okay, that's concluded kind of one pass through this C part. Um, and 
I have a slight variation here so that's so that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run through it again uh, so we're gonna start this is this uh, bar shape again fifth fret starts this C part kind of again uh, again the same pattern as before so this measure sounds like this again okay just like before next measure sounds like this sorry It's hard to keep a bar shape for extended periods of time. You may be discovering that as well. But that's how that sounds. All right, back to the same pattern on the open strings. Again, you can see how this is a great exercise for these skip strokes. So everything at the top, from the top, sounds like this from the start. measure. Again, this looks familiar, so it just sounds like this. And again, just like before, concluding out the C part with a bar shape across the seventh fret, playing that same pattern. Now we've got uh, the same pattern again uh, after, the, <clears throat> after that last measure. Sounds like this. Again. Now, this is the ending the song. Uh, open fourth, followed by a brush thumb. You can do as many here. I'll put three here. Again, uh, people ask this a fair amount. Um, how many strings on these brush strokes? Um, it's really up to you. Uh, you have to specify a number when you write out a tab. You can't say anything, so uh, I usually put three to indicate a brush. Um, and you can also use your ears to decide what sounds best. But anyways, four, so open fourth followed by a brush thumb. Then the open third followed by a brush thumb. All right, now, if we were uh, going to go back to the beginning, we would just go back to that eighth fret and start that. But if we're ending the song, then we're going to end it on this final note, this open second, which is the C, which is the um, C, which is the key of our song. So that last little ending is just this. And that is Snowdrop. <laughs> All right. Hello, Banjo Journey. From hello from the U.S. All right, so um, so that's how it that's how it's that's the um that's the tab as it sounds. Uh, I will let's see, um, you can ignore what's at the top right now. I'm just going to play it play a simple version. Again, there's a brand new level two version in the vault, um, which doesn't have the skip strokes and doesn't have the drop thumb. So if you're if that's if those techniques are less familiar to you um, that would be a good place to start that'll give you a foundation and then you can build this version on top of that um, so here's a simplified way of playing the a part A part. Again, real simple, just playing bum ditties in between the space of the melody. Remember, it's just this. And then. Okay, and you just fill those spaces in with bum ditties while you're keeping your fingers on those frets and you're and you're good to go. And, and uh, you know, that sounds great by, just by itself because this is just a beautiful tune. Um, Alright, and then the B part would sound something like this.
And again, there's a demonstration of the um, Ranger Level 2 version in the vault as well. And so then that's, so that's B part. C part would, would be just something like this. Again, you'll still, still need to bar across this fifth fret. That was a version uh, without any uh, skip strokes, without any drop thumbs, just straight up playing that basic melody, throwing in uh, um, some bum ditties, just like the procedure that I go through in the uh, four series of on, on um, playing by ear and how to build arrangements from scratch. So that's the first first way we start doing it, and in the um, in the uh, ear laboratory videos where we walk through that process. So starting with basic melody, adding in some basic claw hammer elements, and then embellishing it further. And so this version that I've played for you is kind of my, the, the one we went through today is kind of my fully embellished version. But it's really useful to know how, to, how, to, how, it, how, we, um, how we get there, how we get from that basic melody to a version like this. Okay. Um, uh, this, uh, Lee Perkins asks about the origin of this uh, tune, and uh, the first recorded uh, version is from the McGee brothers, um, Kirk and Sam McGee, and it actually is, uh, he plays it fingerstyle, is, which is kind of ironic since it's become like this iconic Clawhammer banjo tune, but it's also... So it's a great, it's a great little fingerstyle tune too, um, and you can actually uh, there are a lot of like fingers, uh, old time fingerstyle tunes that are kind of in these sorts of open tunings that are so much fun to play. Um, and speaking of actually funny, uh, uh, so it, later today um, at six o'clock I'm going to be doing uh, a workshop on two finger banjo, and we're actually going to be using this is one of the tunings I'm going to show you because this particular tuning, even though. There are not that many Clawhammer songs people play in this tuning, um, partly because uh, double C is so popular. Um, this is a great tuning for two-finger thumb lead, and if you're a Clawhammer pay player, you can actually take a ton of your uh, songs that you know in C and D and use this particular tuning, and it works really well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just be covering that a little bit in today's workshop. So uh, if you're wanting to uh, dabble, uh, dabble a little bit in uh, finger style, then, uh, then come later for that. Um, let's see. What tab? Lauren asks about what? Uh, what? Uh, yes, yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, what tab? Software. So I use Table Edit. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked around in quite some time, but back when I did, this was definitely the. Uh, the best software to use so and there's a free version that you can play around with uh, for so table edit <clears throat> t-a-b-l-e-d-i-t is the one I use and I still think it's probably the uh, uh, easiest one to use out there and the best one and the most robust okay so um, thanks so much for uh, joining me for this again if you uh, if you like if you enjoy these uh, videos then um, hit the thumbs up let me know and if you have any questions, if you're watching this in the replay and you have any questions about this video, uh, please feel free to put it in the comments. And like I said, uh, I'll be back at 6 tonight to do the uh, a, an overview of two-finger banjo, kind of uh, specifically for the Clawhammer banjo player, because uh, there are some things uh, that will translate uh, that, that give you a sort of a leg up uh, if, you, if you want to learn that style. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.